We are not to be stopped. We are not to be distracted from what we are doing. And you may say that we're evil, wrong and unforgiving. You may say that we are designed to do the bidding of another. We will keep on going. We will keep on fighting the cause. And we will keep on saying that you're corrupt, manipulated, forceful and deceitful. There is nothing immoral about what we do. We are happy. A tenant of God's teaching is to be respected. Yet far from this, you are the opposite. Poisoning others against us. Using your power to manipulate and intimidate. What we do is not wicked or depraved. That is the realm in which you tread. That is where you choose to reside. A scar of pestilence on God's green earth. Do you hear that? Me using his name. The one syllable you claim to understand and yet it is you who defiles it the most. You who would use his power and awe-inspiring greatness for wrong not right. A man of God. A man to whom others love. You're none of those things. You're a sad, pathetic little brute who would sooner use his power to destroy rather than aid. How dare you hide behind the name of our Lord Jesus Christ? Come out and face me. Death is not what I crave and violence is not what I need. Yet you have driven me to extremes. And for this, you must suffer. Show yourself. You're not a man of spirits bound to the invisible realm. Show yourself. <laughs> <clears throat> I am a man of God. I have a refuge for those who are lost, and I will lead them back onto the road of light. You call yourselves women of right, happiness, and say that I have strayed the path of good. There is no rest for the wicked, that is true, yet it is you who never sleep. There is only one woman I can call her, my mother. Oh, she was a wonderful person, addicted to the rush of our Lord, and she was home, while you rocked in the depths of the abyss. Do you not see the problem you face? You and the rest of your kind are not mothers. The womb which should be inhabited by life is instead the bastion of demons and the fetuses of the devil's offspring. This is insane. I am a Christian woman. Besides, I have a daughter, Ellen. Your daughter is no more Christian woman than I am. Christian women follow the tenet of the Lord. The Pope. They are one and the same. Christ speaks through his holiness. Pope Paul V. He is the man who will lead this church to he is the man who has turned this nation and our kingdom into a puppet state, using his power to stop this country from being free. You speak of a life without control, not freedom. A life where people are able to do whatever they wish. That life is treason. A life of treason is one that I choose, not because I want that, but because I have no choice. Your church has run its cause. Ours will rise. The devil too rises. If you continue on your course, that is what will happen. Hedonists, prostitutes and murderers, all will fight peace in your church. All will know the glory of God. Should they? Of course they shouldn't. These are the people who are barred from the gates of heaven. Yet it is your people who would see them enter. What you speak is a lie. Your Pope promotes his brother, uncle, sister. They are fools. Yet he deems them worthy. He is a corrupt of the faith you choose to follow. Blasphemy! Trace! Can they not be the same thing? If the law tells me to kill, it is a sin. But so is denying his will. What do I choose? Mercy! I kill. For a life of sin, while dark, is rewarded if it is in the name of Jesus Christ. The, bishop. the word of the bishop is the word of his holiness, and the word of his holiness is the word of God. I am quoting God. I too speak the word of God, only what I speak is written, rather than postulated by your puppet master. Thou shalt not kill. Exodus 20, verses 3 to 17. I know the Lord. You only know power and corruption. God may have made you wealthy, but God has made me strong. He 
makes me lie down in the green pastures. He leads me beside my horse. Walks through the shadow of the valley of death. I will fear no evil, for you're with me. Your rod, your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Truly, goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 23. But seek first his kingdom, and then his righteousness. And all the other things will be given unto you as well. Oh, enough! Do you utter those words, your witch tongue wraps around a syllable and warps them to suit your purpose? You too bind the word of the Bible to fit your message. The difference is, I do it for the peace, for the good of people. The Church of England is a way for us to forget our past and try to do good for the future of this nation. The clue for its prosperity is in the title, Church of England. Not a Rome and the pigs who reside there. Blasphemy! You are the work of the devil. You are Satan's mistress. The lies you speak must be acknowledged. The people must know the truth. Neither I nor anyone else who follows my creed has ever done anything to harm anyone else. Be thy beliefs or otherwise. Oh, I'm tired. Boy, enter. <laughs> speak, giant belly. Respond. Yes. Is your daughter Ellen Bailey? She is. Is your sister Jane Southworth? Respond. She is. You have been accused of crimes both unholy and monstrous. How do you plead? What are these accusations? Irrelevant. You have been accused. What are these accusations? Announce them causing actual bodily harm, serial misconduct, murdering an infant, burying the child's corpse, then digging it back up again, cooking and eating its flesh, and using its bones and fat to make magical ointments. You vile harpy! Continue. Causing death by magical means and attending a witch's sabbath. You plotted and spied on this village, met in secret and then went in for the kill. Using all your powers that the Prince of Darkness has bestowed upon you to murder an innocent child and eat its fleshy tissue. This is absurd, offensive, hilarious even. Clearly these accusations are false. Who made them? Which cow has defiled my name with utter nonsense? It was not my place to say. Grace Sauerbus. It was not your place to say either. My apologies. Your forgiveness will not come from me, but from a higher power. Yes, mother. Grace Salbert. I knew it. A woman with a name to match her face. Enough of this! You are guilty, and I will see you hang. Your jealousy over our conversion knows no bounds! You speak in riddles, witch. My companions and I converted from the Catholic Church, a process which has taken us years of confusion and difficulty both literally and morally. My life felt was called, and we were at peril day in and out by members of your Church of Peace. I do not wish to follow the tenets of pompous old men from Italy. It is God's work that I do, not Paul V. My comrades and I converted from the Catholic Church, and upon completing that process, we became a persona non grata. No more may we sell our wares. Thirty immaculate deerskins, I was not able to sell a single one. This is your doing! All of this is your doing! It is true we can secret, but to read the work of the Lord and try to understand his greatness, when you meet in secret, it is to have your way with your heart and lover. You disgrace me! How, how dare you spout such lies? How dare you accuse me of breaking my sacred rights? The woman who accused us. The woman who made us swear in the holy books that we had cavorted with Satan. She's your meat, your doll to play with. You break your holy vows every day and then use it to condemn us. What would you have us do? Bow to the trinkets and toys which hang in the basilica of hate and fabrications? I refuse! And so do my sisters of truth and righteousness. Sauerbutt, your lover, spins her web like the spiny whore she is. Enough! Is this true? Silence! She is my associate. She aids in the work of the Lord. She is your whore! You are guilty. 
You and all who follow your doctrine are guilty. I condemn you to death! No, you do this to cover your trap! Do it! Round of evil cohort two! is not pretty, yet it is necessary. Our work may lead to wrongdoings, may lead to abominations, yet it is essential if God can once again allow his son to walk this land. Lord our Father, your power brings us to birth. Your providence guides our lives, and by your command we return to dust. Lord, those who die still live in your presence. Their lives change but do not end. I pray and hope my family, relatives, and friends, to so all the dead known to you alone. I pray and hope in company with Christ who died and now lives, may they rejoice in your kingdom where all our tears are wiped away. Unite us together as one family to sing your praise forever and ever. Amen. The prayer of Pope Alexander the Fourth. Is this one? Lord will judge us ultimately. Now we must leave. Kiss her head and round up the rest. We must finish this work. <laughs> <laughs> 